Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Wednesday morning. So glad you're able to join Tom and I. It's just a start, way to start the day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give glory to the coming King. O oh, come, let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to the coming King. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 50. The Lord, the God of gods, has spoken. He has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God reveals himself in glory. Our Lord, our God, will come and will not keep silence. Before him, there is a consuming flame and round about him, a raging storm. He calls the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before me, my, ro my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with a sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the righteousness of his cause, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you, for I am God, your God. I do not accuse you because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls, nor he, gro he goats out of your, your pens. For all the beasts of the forest are mine, the herds in their thousands upon the hills. I know every bird in the sky, and the creatures of the fields are in my sight. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the whole world is mine and all that is in it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and make good your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall honor me. But to the wicked God says, Why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips, since you refuse discipline and toss my words behind your back? When you see a thief, you make him your friend, and you cast in your lot with adulterers. You have loosened your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to a lie. You are always speaking evil of your brother and slandering your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I keep still, and you thought that, that, that I am like you? I have made my accusations. I have put my cause, my case, in order before your eyes. Consider this well, you who forgot, forget God, lest I rend you, and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. But to those who keep it my way will I show the salvation of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, because Jesus, your servant, became obedient to death, his sacrifice was greater than all the holocausts of old. Accept the sacrifice of praise we offer you through him and help us show the efforts of it in our lives by striving to do your will until our whole life becomes adoration in spirit and truth. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, our reading today continues in Isaiah, in the 29th chapter, beginning with verse 9. Stupefy yourself and be in a stupor. Blind yourself and be blind. Be drunk, but not with wine. Stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord has poured out upon you a spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes, the prophets, and covered your heads, the seers. And the vision of all this has become to you like the words of a book that is sealed when men give it to uh, give it to one who can read, saying, read this. He says, I cannot, for it is sealed. And when they gave the book to one who cannot read, saying, read this, 
He said, I cannot read. And the Lord said, because the people draw near with their mouth and honor with uh, honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment of men learned by rote. Therefore, behold, I will again do marvelous things with this people, marvel, uh, wonderful and marvelous, and the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the discernment of their discerning men shall be hid. Woe to those who hide deep from the Lord their counsel, whose deeds are in the dark, and who say, Who sees us? Who knows us? You turn things upside down. Shall the potter be regarded as the clay? The thing made should say of, of its maker, He did not make me. Or the thing formed say of him who formed it, He has no understanding. It is not yet a very little while until Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be regarded as a forest. In that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of their gloom and the darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The meek shall obtain freshly joy, fresh joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall exalt in the Holy One of Israel. For the ruthless shall come to naught, and the scoffer cease, and all who watch to do evil shall be cut off, who by a word may uh, make a man out of to be an offender, and lay a snare for him who reproves in the gate, and with an empty plea, Turn aside him who is in the right. Therefore, thus says the Lord, who redeemed Abram, Abraham re, uh, concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall no more be ashamed, no more shall his face grow pale. For when he sees his children, the work of my hands is in the midst. They will sanctify my name. They will sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and will stand in awe of the God of Israel. And those who err in spirit will come to understanding and those who murmur will accept instruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be Jesus. to God. Our second reading comes from Revelation, the 21st chapter, beginning with verse 9. Then came one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues and spoke to me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And in the spirit he carried me away in a great high mountain and showed me the holy city of Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven from God, having the glory of God in radiance, like the most rare jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with twelve gates, and at the gate twelve angels, and on the gates the names of the twelve tribes of the sons of Israel were inscribed. On the east three gates, and on the north three gates, and on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he who talked to me had a measuring rod of gold to measure the city in its gates and walls. The city lies four square, it, its length the same as its breadth. And he measured the city with his rod, twelve thousand stadia. Its length and breadth and height are equal. He also measured its wall, 144 cubits by a man's measure, that is, an angel's. The wall was built of jasper, while the city was pure gold, clear as glass. The foundation of the wall of the city was adorned with every jewel. The first was jasper, the second sapphire, the third agite, the fourth emerald, the fifth onyx, the sixth carillion, the seventh chrysolite the eighth burial, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysophase, the eleventh jathias, uh, and the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, each of the gates made of the same of a single pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, transparent as glass. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. How oh, beautiful. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, 
from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Let us pray. God of love and mercy, help us to follow the example of Mary, always ready to do your will. At the message of an angel, she welcomed your eternal son and filled, and filled with the light of your spirit. She became the temple of your word, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining Tom and I this early in the morning. And Pastor Matthew will be on this evening. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless you. Bye-bye.